Today, Nigerians, let us address the elephant in the room. Yesom Wike, the master of the drunkards. Now, for us to be able to approach the case of Yesom Wike on the disgrace he has brought to Nigeria, we need to speak to the president of Bola Metinubu. And so I have a message for the president Bola Metinubu to consider removing Yesom Wike from the minister of Abuja. Why is the minister of Abuja, Nyesom Wike, still in office? And honestly, Mr. President Bola Metinumbu, we all need answers. This conversation is not about casting blame. It's about seeking accountability because Nigerians are watching. And the minister of Abuja, Yesom Wike, has become, as they say in the street, an embarrassment in the society. The controversies surrounding his habits, particularly his alleged drunkenness and questionable decisions, have reached boiling point. Even on the recent case that happened with uh, the Prime Minister of India, which have been overshadowed, and now we face the idea of being ridiculed. I think, Mr. President, this is no longer just a matter of leadership. It is a matter of national dignity. Let me offer few reasons why we must act now, not just for the sake of removing the, um, the minister, but for the sake of restoring trust and pride in Nigerian governance. Let us look at it, number one, from the aspect of the face of the nation truly matters. And I will say, Mr. President Bola Metinumbu, when a minister represents the country, he carries the image of Nigeria on his shoulders. Do we want that image to be stumbling and slurring or forgetting what was discussed? Number two, children are actually watching. Imagine a four-year-old asking, Daddy, why is the minister always in trouble? Are we teaching our children that leadership means no consequence? Thirdly, we need to look at it from the aspect of global perception is at stake. The recent controversy with India has left Nigeria looking unserious. So Mr. President Ola Metinumbu, we cannot afford to be the punchline of international politics. I think if ministers are not held accountable, how can we expect civil servants and ordinary Nigerians to follow the rules? And let's look at it, sir. Every time this minister's name comes up, near some wiki, the people lose a little more faith in the government. And the question is, can we afford this to continue? I believe a bad habit becomes a national habit. If um, an appointed minister has a bad habit, it becomes a national habit. Drunkenness is a personal flaw, but when it spills into national duties, it becomes a collective shame. On the other side, I believe it is a wasted opportunity because this office could be occupied by someone or people with fresh ideas, energy, and a vision for progress not someone distracted by their own issues and i believe the public is speaking loudly on this issue so mr president bola metinumbu the people are watching complaining and waiting if we ignore and we we think this is a normal um, circumstance we risk losing the confidence of the society entirely and I think we have to consider it also from the intellectual integrity, which is actually the key. That leadership requires focus, strategy, and wisdom. Can we honestly say the current minister, Nyesom Wike, embodies these qualities? And then let's look at the future, what the future demands. I think the future demands better because history will judge us, Mr. President, not by what we tolerate, but by what we change. What legacy do we want to leave behind? So I would urge Mr. President Bola Metinumbu, 
this is not just about removing one minister it is about setting a precedent it is about showing nigerians young and old that leadership is a sacred responsibility not a casual privilege i urge you mr president to reflect deeply on this decision let us remember that governance is not about shielding individuals from consequences but about protecting the integrity of the nation nigerians are ready to see bold action and we are counting on you to deliver by the minister yesom wiki to resign effective immediately in the words of an elder if you don't cut a rotting branch the whole tree will fall let us cut this branch not out of spite but out of love for nigeria the world is watching our children are watching and mr president bola metinubu your legacy depends on it i would say this balablu bulaba this is a particular action that might be able to restore a little bit of the dignity or integrity that nigeria is supposed to have even if we don't have them at the moment i hope this is okay please whatever you think that needs to circulate i would urge nigerians to please share this video even if the president would not see it at least his ministers or the administrators can see this information and pass it to the president hopefully we can make this all let's be those who tends to be uh, more journalists those who have more information please you can look into this particular uh, conversations or discussion or speech that i just gave out and take it and make sure you elaborate more on it that the message gets to the president bola metinubu have a great day if you are not following make sure you follow me on tiktok and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel my name remains the man of thought aka the villain of truth aka the black panther of nigeria hope to see you in the next one adios amigos bye bye for now when you are revolutionary and you t talk the truth people will come and slap you down and then you talk the truth again they lock you in jail them never hear anything at all then go hear panza panza when you are revolutionary and you t talk the truth people will come and slap you down and then you talk the truth again they lock you in jail them never hear anything at all then go hear panza panza